So what's going on? Another day means, guess what? Another video card launch. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the XFX Merc 308 6600 XT. This card comes to market at about $369. You guys can see it has three fans in the front. And my favorite thing, a nice solid back plate. So let's jump in and let's talk tech AMD style. Did you just build yourself a brand new PC? Or did you just upgrade your old PC, but find you're in need of a Windows 10 key? If that's the case, your CD key has you covered. And buying, it's never been easier. All you do is go to the Your CD Key website, find the Windows software that you wanna buy, put it into your cart, enter the code TOT20, apply the code, save yourself some extra money, and as soon as you complete your purchase, the Windows 10 key will be in your inbox. There's no problems, it's really easy, and all keys are guaranteed to work, so you don't have to worry about losing your money, and you'll have a valid Windows 10 key to get your unit up and running. All right, so before we jump into the video, I would ask a kindness of you people out there, could you please like and share my video on social media, and if you like my style, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you know I'm making videos. So first up, Let's check out what comes in the box of the XFX 308 Merc. There's really not much inside the box at all. As you guys can see, inside the box, it is very, very minimalistic. There's not very much in the box at all. So now, let's take a look at the card, the specs, and then let's jump into the benchmarks and see if this card is for you. Now taking a look at the card on the front, you guys can see there are three fans, and these fans feature a triple fan design, they're nine blade high efficiency sleeve fans. There's three times 80 millimeter fans with 76 millimeter blades. And as far as how big the card is, the card size is in at 27.4 by 11.4 by five centimeters or 10.49 by 4.49 by 1.97 inches. Now on the back, you guys can see there is a complete aluminum back plate. This is a solid piece of aluminum and you can see there's a little space on the back to help dissipate some of that heat from the back of the car. So that's how the card looks. But now let's take a look at what's under the hood. Under the hood, the card features 2048 stream processors. It has a 128 bit memory bus, eight gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, it has a base clock of 2,188 MHz, game clock of 2,428 MHz, and a boost clock of 2,607 MHz. Now some of the other features of this card, it features a full digital PWM delivery, which is a 6.2 phase design that has 148 watts of power, and most standard cards are 130, so this will be good for the boost and for stability of the card. The card features a one-piece nickel-plated copper GPU and memory cold plate, heat spreaders and heat pipes with a plated copper cold plate and four by six millimeter heat pipes. The card features a dual BIOS, and the default BIOS is closest to the eight pin external power connector. As far as the output goes, you can see the card features the same standard output as many of the other cards on the market that we've seen lately and I don't really see that changing anytime soon. All around the card you guys can see all of the cooling apparatus. It's very easy to see and it looks pretty nice too. This card has a very clean design. It's not overbearing. It does also have RGB lighting so the XFX logo and the Radeon logo will light up and can change colors to your discretion. The card has a single 8-pin power connector and it's recommended that you use at least a 500 watt power supply with the Merc 308. Now as far as the test system goes, I'm using a Ryzen 5 5600X. The motherboard is the Gigabyte X570 Aorus Elite. 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance 3600 MHz memory. A Samsung 871 TB SSD. I'm using the latest Windows 10 64-bit edition, fully updated. Now, as far as the drivers go, for the 6600 XT, I'm using the AMD driver version 2120 PVT. And for the 67 XT and 5700 XT, I'm using the Adrenaline 2020 edition 2171. Just a quick note before we jump in, all scores are based off the average frames per second. And in my video, I used all XFX branded cards. So let's rock out to the benchmark song.
Okay, so in conclusion, what do we have here? We have a card that runs at about 87 Celsius under full load. You guys can see it's a little bit faster than the 5700 XT and it's a little slower than the 6700 XT. And from looking at other people's reviews online, it seems like this card actually isn't as fast as a 3060 Ti. Now, this card was supposed to be the 3060 Ti killer, but it's really not quite that. But the card does run very quiet. It's very cool. Having the dual BIOS is very nice and you get some really good clocks off the boost. So all that stuff is actually really nice. Now, the price, I think a lot of people are probably going to say for a card that's only for 1080p or 1440, that the price is a little high. I agree, the price should probably be a little bit lower, but the thing is, in today's market, you can barely even buy a video card. So whether this card is actually going to be available for the MSRP, that's a complete other ball of wax, but hopefully it will be, and hopefully you won't see some scalp all over on eBay trying to charge $1,000 for this card because we know how things get. So at the end of the day, I think the XFX card is a really cool card. If you want to disassemble it, it's really easy to do. It comes with instruction guides and everything online. So if you want to put on a liquid cooler, that won't be a problem whatsoever. I like the back plate. The three fan design is very nice. So overall, there's nothing really wrong with the card. The only caveats about the card are that looking at all the things I've read online, it's really not the you know, RTX 3060 killer. It's just not really that. It might be completely you know, equal with, you know, with new drivers and stuff like that as the card matures to catch back up, but that ought to be seen another day. But for now, it is what it is. So I thank you guys for watching Tech in Tomorrow. By the way, if you'd like to support the channel, there are many ways to do it. You can try one of those Windows keys that we showed you in the beginning of the video. All of them are guaranteed. For a single dollar, you can support me on Patreon. I got a link down there below for that. And if you want to try Amazon Prime for free for 30 days, I have a link for that. Any of those links help keep Tech of Tomorrow up and going. So peace out. We'll see you guys back here for more tech on Tech of Tomorrow.